Welcome back to another episode of the Australian road trip. We're currently driving from Yapoon to Mackay. Is that how you say it? Mackay? And it's about a four hour drive. And uh, this road we're on particularly, we've got to go 180 miles without turning off. 180 miles. And something's quite interesting I looked up today is that we have now driven from Melbourne. We've driven over 1,100 miles. That's not actually true, is it? Because we actually drove over 1,700 miles at this point. But hey ho. We've got two and a half weeks left with the van. But uh, a few things coming up is obviously the Great Barrier Reef, which we're parallel to now, aren't we? We, we, yeah, were, we were at the southern, southern Great Barrier Reef recently. And uh, well, I imagine if you drive to the edge of the land, and look yeah. out, you'll see the Great Barrier Reef. So that's just to give you an idea of where we are. And of course, the Great Barrier Reef Great Barrier Reef is so big, you can see it from space. And, uh, so the plains that we're looking at now are very vast. There's a lot of dry land. That's all I've got for you. We're gonna check in with you in a bit later. Lovely campsite, first impressions. Palm trees everywhere. Just driven 200 miles and we're gonna chill and then tomorrow is a brand new day, so tomorrow. So I've had a bit of a beard trim by the wonderful Chloe, who's now a barber, a little haircut. Anyway, we've just driven up a mountain, what it seems, these windy roads. If I, get, if I can get a picture, I'll put it up here. Um, and it was amazing. We're going to the Yungala National Park, which is famous. Well, well there's... We're in Yungala National Park now. There's platypuses. Platypi? <laughs> just wild and about so we're it's the only place in the world that you can see wild platypus in their natural habitat here yeah so we had an interesting drive and um, we're just heading now towards this little lookout point lookout point here to see the that view just driven up. yeah okay so to our left you should see a pretty amazing view. Yeah. All right, ready? just like watch the water and if you see little bubbles coming up from the water 
then there's probably a platypus under there and you just got to wait for it to come up and have a little look at it but they're very rare to see well look this massive um, river's just opened up look if you look beyond here so we're at the perfect time of day and the perfect weather to see platypus platypi platypes platters some of you might not be familiar with this little story but people that saw platypus for the first time thought that it was a hoax and that it was it was you know uh, it's got a beak like a duck it's got a a tail like a, a is it a tail like a beaver yeah. and then like a, the fur of a, a, a otter and it's got like webbed feet and stuff so people thought it was like a, an animal or multiple animals all stitched together but it's actually not it's it's something that survived for a very very long time so fair play to it anyway it'll be quiet now we're gonna try and search for some obviously just collapsed onto the other side of the river that is incredible okay so the water is a little bit calmer down this end Jesus Christ look at the size of that spider Chloe obviously just walked past it see that the size of that bad boy still no sign of the platypus we're gonna keep heading on down there though deeper into the jungle look at this it is but it's so it's so overgrown look look at this look at this branch how it's it's like a rope isn't that amazing look how it's just like whoa do you think that's cool look at that that is crazy we are in the jungle can you hear the I'm a celebrity get me out of here theme tune as well <laughs> dun 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 spotted a platypus but look at this fucking tree what the hell look at that tree what the hell we saw a platypus saw one. just above the water here gotta be very quiet oh look there it is This is amazing. I'm trying to get a closer view. It's times like these I wish I had a telephoto lens. It's somewhere in here. You've got to be very quiet. Oh look, there it is. There it is. Can you see it? Right in front. Look at that. It's just chilling on the top of the water. That right there. Is the palat? Oh, there he 
he goes. Or she. Platypus. Okay, so there's some bubbles just down here. Look, and I just, I've just seen one swim under here. Look, there's one right there. Can you see? What? Oh my goodness. Look. Oh my god, did you see that? Have a look. Look at this tree. What on earth? This has got to be someone's den. Like an animal's den. Look at that. I'm inside a tree, for God's sake. That is incredible. Do you reckon there was like a bolt of lightning and it burnt from the inside? Or... Lasers! So, we're here at what, I don't even know what this is called. Some sort of like rocky rapids dam slash river I don't know but I've just made Chloe jump across to there to get some decent photos you alright? amazing eh? look at this that is absolutely Bob Ross-esque isn't it? that's where the platypuses were and there probably is some more up here. It's lovely, you stay there, yeah? Now you probably can't see here, but just around this area, we spotted another platypus, but this tree here, I don't know if you can see as well, there's a wired fence, so, and plus there's no, there's no more walkway left. So this is the end of this little trail, the platypus trail. We're just gonna linger here to just see if we can see the platypus anymore, and then head back and get some dinner and stuff, so. That was amazing though, we saw a platypus, many platypus, <sighs> amazing, wasn't that amazing to capture it on video as well, we got a few nice photos so um, I don't really plug Instagram on here much verbally but um, if you guys are interested in following our travels anymore, we've got our Instagram page which is at exploration date, all one word, and uh, we post up loads of photos of everywhere we've, we've been around the world really all our adventures so feel free to have a little look so we're gonna head back hopefully we make it back because that was an absolute trek to get here not necessarily how far but how many obstacles there were to get here we were climbing over and under trees through bushes through webs and spiders and br bushes and just feels like this thing's creeping around me right now so gonna head back and it's getting dark so see you, see you very soon all right. We've got quite a long drive ahead. I know. It's going to get dark. Yeah, I forgot that we've still got an hour and a half drive back to the campsite. Mm -hmm. And we've not got any dinner. Okay, well, we'll have to sort something out, won't we? 